Hello and welcome. My name is David Lurie, and I'm one of the teachers on EckhartYoga.com, a wonderful online yoga platform that I've been teaching at for over five years with about 150 plus videos. Of the videos that I record of all different flavors and styles of practice, I have quite a few music flow practices that I have musical friends around the world that give permission to use their music. And I'm teaching guided vinyasa flow practices with a really cool soundtrack behind them. I have a wonderful class on the site called Bring It On Home, a music flow. That's the journey from the outward to the inside. I'm going to share with you now a little bit of that practice, a little piece of this practice with the wonderful music of General Fuzz from the Bay Area in Oakland and San Francisco, California. So uh, let's begin. Just stand with your feet about the distance of your hips, close your eyes and take a couple breaths to center yourself. Gather your mind into this moment. Bring yourself home into your body. Bring yourself home into this present moment. As this is just a short version of the full-length class that's available on the website, you begin right away into the hips. On the next inhale, reach your arms up into the air. And as you exhale, bend the knees lower down. As you inhale, come back up. We're going to do this 10 times. Exhale, lower back down. Just to get some energy moving. Inhale, press through the heels, lift the arms up. Exhale, squat back down. That's three. Let's keep going. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Rising on the in-breath and get the energy moving through you. Exhale, squat deep into the legs. Let's get that rooted feeling. Rising on an in-breath, rooting on an out-breath. Four more, keep going, exhaling down. Move with the sense of control to build strength and power in your body. Last two, exhale down. Inhale up. One more of these, exhaling down. Inhaling, reach the arms up into the sky and then take the arms out by the sides. Next in breath, reach the arms into the sky. Turn your right palm into the air and hold the right wrist with your left hand. Take the right leg behind your back and now give a long curve of the lateral side of your body. Inhaling, come up. And exhaling, change arms and change legs and go the other way. As this journey home, inhale, come up. Exhale, change sides. This journey home brings you deep back into your body as the physical practice of yoga is here to do. Let's keep changing sides a couple times. Coming home into the body because many of us tend to be trapped in thinking, logic, analysis, organizing. So the physical parts of yoga give us an opportunity to come home into the body. One more time. Oops. Coming back up. And now take a forward fold. As you fold forward, soften your knees, hold your elbows, and dangle through your spine. Relax your head and just start to shift a little from one side into the next. In the music flows that I teach on the site, the music is always a nice accompaniment to the freedom of movement that's there for you. Okay. Then with soft knees, roll back up, reach the arms up into the sky. Stay standing and release the arms down. Separate the feet. Take the arms parallel to the floor and more or less the feet below the hands, about that distance. And then with the hands onto the hips, inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, fold forward, take the hands down towards the ground. On the next in-breath, straighten your arms and lengthen the spine. 
and exhale, fold. And rather than holding the posture in a static position, come to the fingertops and as you inhale, lengthen the chest and exhale, fold. And if you don't quite all the way reach the floor, you're welcome to either have something underneath you or bend your knees, but a couple times of lengthening the spine and folding deeper. As a way to come home into the body by feeling it. When we feel the body more, we are at home more in it. One more time of that. Okay. Next time that your arms are straight, take the left hand below your face and inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky and have a breath or two here. Rather than being still and frozen in the posture, shift the hips a little bit and move the arm a little around in space as an exploration of your home. Take the right hand down, inhale, take the left arm up. And again, a little shift of the hips. Deep awareness of your breath. Okay, and then let's take this for a little flow. Take the left hand down as you breathe out, inhale the right arm up. Exhaling the right hand down, inhaling the left arm up. Exhaling the left hand down. Inhaling the right arm up. Two more times. Next time that you're down with both hands, Soften the knees and roll yourself up to a standing position. Take a moment and just see what's happened over a few minutes of folding forward and lateral extension. Do you feel a little more at home in your body? Turn the heels in and open the toes wide, bend the knees and just shift from one side into the next. And the journey home also means Coming home into the heart center. So as we do the work in the physical body in the practice of yoga, there's also a way to connect to the heart. There is great power in the intellect. So yoga is not teaching us to stop using our mind, but to engage the mind aligned with the heart. Keep going from side to side a little bit so your hips are getting this kind of juicy fold here. Take the hands to the knees. Dip the right shoulder towards the left. Come back to center and go the other way. Come back to center, the right shoulder towards the left. Inhale, come to center and then the left shoulder towards the right. Come back to center, straighten the legs, reach the arms up into the sky. And so now when you exhale, release the arms by the side, walk the feet back towards the center. Use the out breath to feel grounded and connected to your legs. Lately in my practice, going really slow has been a way to come home into my body and it's a little more challenging, but it feels quite uh, enlivening and, and strengthening. So reach your arms into the sky Lift your heels off the floor. Keep the heels off the floor and then lower really slowly, like slower than you want to, all the way down into a heels up squat. Once you're there, however, life is always changing. Come back up with the heels off the floor. Gonna do this two more times, down and up as a way to really bring power to the quadriceps, some stability to your knees and the core of your body. And this requires a great sense of mental focus to balance. So we're 
coming home in many levels, rise back up again, heels up the whole time. Last one, bend the knees all the way, slower than you want, oh my gosh, until eventually we're down. From this squat position, let's get a little bit of upper body conditioning and strength. Take both of the hands to the right. When your hands are to the right, step your left foot off towards the side and do a push-up to whatever degree fits your arms and your body. Bring the left leg to center, come up. Take the hands towards the left. With both of your hands over towards the left, extend the right leg out and do a push-up. And come back again. Both hands to the right. As you bend the elbows, extend the left leg to the side. Come back up. Change sides and keep going from one side into the next. Yoga is often confused with just becoming flexible. But I will argue that finding strength is equally as powerful and important in a yogic practice. So we bring the strengthening component. Let's go one more time each side. Coming home into the body. Okay, next time you're back up at center, just take the hands behind you. Sit down and bring the bottoms of your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Turn the fingers backwards and use your arms to give a lift and open sensation of the chest. A breath or two here. I mentioned before there's a coming home into the heart center. So take that opportunity here, having just worked your body, to be home into the heart. Walk the hands forward and do a forward fold. And it's okay to round your spine here. If you need to sit onto something as you're necessary for your own body, please do so. Doing yoga with the video always requires a lot of personal responsibility, which we teach about in all of our classes. Okay, a breath or two here. Press with your hands, come back up. Open the right leg towards the side. Turn towards the right leg, fold over it. Come back up. Extend the left leg. Bend the right knee and fold over the left leg. Come back up to center. Cross the legs once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what there's time for here in a little YouTube introductory clip. I have a full-length class called Bring It On Home, and along with lots of other uh, music flow classes. So be sure to subscribe to the Eckhart Yoga YouTube channel for more free videos, little clips and things like this. And check out the full site. Um, thousands, literally, of incredible classes from amazing teachers. Thank you so much.